Welcome to Factorio Crastorio. My name is Nina. So this is episode 57 of our Let's Play campaign. Well, what are we going to do today? Well, we I'd very much like to work on our antimatter plant. However, I think we're running out of plastic. So we might want to take a look at plastic first. But let's dive in. Antimatter plant. I think we have it somewhere. Uh, first, let's... Uh, just shortly look at our situations since last time. We got nine of them inbound, but still nothing was working here. Okay, there's another one. So, I mean, we are almost keeping up with the low density structures that we built last time. You can see here, I put some more modules. I managed to squeeze in a module here. That's actually really interesting that it actually works. I have not built this before, but it, I think that's, uh, that's an interesting way. And this gives us plus 40% productivity and they are chugging along and we're actually making some. Let's go over here to take a look at the next one. Let's also check the content of this. This is amazing, but it's still stockpiling. Good. This one, it looks, I mean, it's not exactly look like it's it's done, but what about up here? Yeah, this will always be like 100 or something because there will be some coming in here to grab them. We should also make silicon. Silicon is also, what is that problem? What's the problem? Oh, wood? That's so weird. Huh. That's so weird that wood is running out. And is that really? Oh, because this is so much overbuilding that there's barely anything that comes by to the next one. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Not something we're going to deal with right now. Unfortunately, we have to focus on... Let's see. Didn't we build a nuclear power plant? Is that it? Antimatter thingy. Let's build that antimatter thingy. Here. Ooh, that looks cool. Let's see. We do have one space available around here. That would be a great place to build it. So let's build it here. This is... Yeah. All right. Let's see what it does. So the thing that's really weird is it doesn't have any liquids output. So it's just like put stuff in, get power out. It uses three gigawatts of power. So that's... We know our physics formula here. So that's three gigajoules per second. Now let's have a look at this one. This is the charged antimatter cell. It has 300 gigajoules. So if this one takes three gigajoules per second, then this one takes 100 seconds. Now, as far as I can tell, this... Is this just producing all the time? Is it consuming at 100% ratio? I don't know. In any case, we are going to make some charged antimatter for sure. And in order to do that, we have to do make some empty ones. That's just going to cost some things, but that is what it is. And then on top of that, it's going to cost uh, some antimatter. But this antimatter, I got a better idea for it. I'm going to pick this up because we don't really know. Uh, yeah, the antimatter. I have an idea. Because we got the matter cube, let's actually build some stuff. Why can we not get this one? Oh, because we don't have this one. Okay, okay. But we're still working on our uh, Eye of Horus or Eye of Cthulhu. I can't believe we're just running out of wood. That was completely surprising to me. Did not anticipate and did not see that coming. See, what about if we over here make a thing? Uh, is that only having one output? Now nah, it should have outputs in all locations, right? Wait, it also takes longer and longer. Yeah, okay, so it works. Now, I don't know, how do we make a meta cube? Oh, is there? How do we make a meta cube? We got a charge stabilizer and we got a some matter. All right, and that's in a matter assembler. Okay, so let's get a matter assembler. Probably like this. Nope. And matter assembler. How about making it right here? That's actually a really interesting place to make it. So. Where the hell's my matter cube? Matter assembler. I don't see no cubes. Oh, there's a cube. Haha. Uh, 
don't tell me it can be done like this. No, it can't. Okay, that's something. How long time does it take to make it? 15 seconds. That's not bad. So you're just taking that one in. You're simply taking this one. So that's going to cube it out. And I will see this one. But make sure that it is constrained to only the that one. Yes. So that goes out there. And now the cube will simply be put into a little box. I'll put that into a box here. And I don't want too many of these cubes, but I do want some of those cubes. All right, Mr. Cube, where are you? Because that's the easiest way to transport these. When it's less than 100? Okay, that's way too much. But it's just the easiest way to transport these. I don't know. 100 seems like a lot. That's 100,000. Let's add... Okay, 50 then. All right, some kind of compromise. So this one's now accessible to robots. The reason why I want this accessible to robots is that when I make charged antimatter fuel, I'm basically going to say, this one is something I can... Ugh, nitric acid? What? Okay, I'm going to build that in our hub. I'm not sure I want to get this... Oh, that... Uh, wood. Hold on. Hold on. Can I make wood? It's like the slowest way of figuring it out. I mean, wood is some kind of matter thing, right? Yeah, I can. And it's dirt cheap. Ooh. And it doesn't require any charge thingies. So we're just going to make wood with those. Perfect. Uh, but first, first, it's something else. Right. So uh, this is a liquid inbound. So that's going to be a bit of an annoying thing because I need to get one of those liquids in. Yeah. Yeah. See, this one wants a liquid in. Intergalactic transceiver. Excellent. Anything else that's super important? Nah, not this one. We're basically at the end of all the research we have available. So, I mean, that's junk. And this one is probably the biter population on the surface where it's released reduced evolution factor. Inter interesting. Don't think I'm going to do it though, but it's interesting nonetheless. I'm going to take this thing, take it out and just put it into there instead. It'll be fine. Yeah. Oh no, I ho hope they didn't put more. Okay. That is what? Heavy water. Yeah, okay. But we're going to get some. This part is going to be here. Yes, please. This one is going to request some nitric acid. Nitric acid? We have that somewhere. I don't know two of those and that's going to go into this one where we will be making an empty antimatter capsule thing there east piece copy paste how many do we need 100 seems like a lot 50 i mean they're being recycled right so the next one will be this one will take I now, okay, that's a matter stabilizer thingy, I think, right? One of these. Let's see, you will be making that one. But in order for you to also make it, how do we un... What can we do with this one? This can only be turned in, and that's in a matter plant. Okay, so we need a matter plant. This is going to be weird, but pretty big. Okay, so this one makes cube to matter. There we go. Actually, we can bump them up next to each other. There we go. These two. It's just a big, big thing here. Good. So this one will request just a few, not too much. There. And this one will also request uh, copy paste. Some of these, yes. And, hmm, now I'm just wondering about something here. This one will make up to the 50. 
It's gonna be too much. Up to twenty then. This one request yeah, ten of those, sure. And it'll put I guess we don't want the intermediates, but we want the final products. That one. Up to fifty. Yes. Now what are you waiting for? You are not getting any of the stabilizers. Is that a problem? Hmm. We were not building stabilizers. We're not having any place that requests stabilizers. So this one is actually making copy paste. I used to make this, right? But then we changed our mind. This is a bit silly, but it will just actually prevent us from doing too many. How much we do this? Yeah. So it'll get stuck eventually. Cool. It's a bit weird this way, but it's the lowest amount I can control. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. And we are having just a few of these. Where the hell are they going? Oh, they're coming in here. Great. What about the matter cube? Oh, you're not requesting anything. There you go. Matter cubes, 10 of those. Anything inbound? Oh, 10 is inbound. Perfect. So that goes in here. This gets uncubed. Then that will give us for every cube, it'll give us exactly what we need. Probably lose one, one so it'll go nice 99, 999.99 for, for some reason. And that will give us a lot of antimatter fuel. Cool. Now we have another thing that's pretty cool that will be here. So what about the portable antimatter? That makes five, 4 megawatts. This one makes 3.2, but uses antimatter fuel. Okay. Well, I'm going to build this one. Copy, paste. And I'm not going to even going to let, let anything go out of it. Because I only want one. Hundred. Oof. There. Off we go with those. So once this is done, I can take it. Oh, I should build two of those. Damn it. Forgot. That's one. This one and this one go up. That one go in. I don't think I need it, but that's fine. Oh, stop, 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 stop. You already got everything you need. Let's get this back out. And there we go. So, two of these bad boys. And, uh, do we have any? We do have some. Four. Two of those. But those should last a good while. Yeah, a good while is, I guess, the right number. Right, let's head down and take a look at the plastic. Oh, plastic or wood first? Uh, let's do plastic first because plastic helps with the other things. Yeah, this is awful. We know, we know, but that's the only small. This is better. This is better. This is where we really have our issue. Uh, this looks like fine. This looks fine, but this is not fine. So kill it. I should just kill it all the way from here. Uh, you know what, we'll leave the other ones, but then we'll take this one out just to make sure that we don't sort of, yeah. <clears throat> All right, and the good thing is I have, I went to my base that I'm streaming over on Twitch and there, because I remember that I have a pretty good basic default vanilla set up for oil, uh, for, sorry, for plastic. So let's take that one. And uh, what I'm talking about is that over on Twitch, I'm also streaming a Let's Play. This is um, mainly in vanilla, but it is, uh, there is some quinks and kinks and quirks to it. I'm streaming it uh, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays at 8 p.m. So do check it out. The address is twitch.tv slash Nilos. That should be somewhat to remember. And it's a pretty cool base we are building there as well. It's uh, more vanilla based, but uh, there are some, as I said, some quirks to it. Where's my blueprint? There's my blueprint. Okay, so this thing here, it, it will need some adaptation, but we'll uh, we'll just take a look, stamp it down, take a look at it. 
Uh, that's gonna be somewhat the middle. Alright, so this one will make a lot. Somehow that one's not powered. Uh, ah, interesting. This one? I don't know if this is even possible, but uh, let me just try something. What if I take this one? And get one, two, yeah? I do think I need to have some pumps for pressurizing. Yes, so this, basically, let's walk through it. This here is the outbound. It goes in here and then it builds over on the side, jumps underneath and it goes out. So that's going to be one full belt. The other full belt comes here and goes out. This one is just killing me. It's absolutely killing me. What are you doing if you're not really doing what I think you're doing? There we go. Okay, so that's one belt and this is another full belt. And this one is such a mediocre amount. This one's actually okay because by the time one coal belt comes in, and uh, let's just make sure that this one is going to. There. And one, two. It'll go in. Ah. And they will immediately start working. That's it's actually kind of absurd how much how much better this is. So I'm just gonna take this in and this one in as well. So that I can take this out because I'm now suddenly getting four full lanes out. And do they need to be balanced? Nah, they don't. No need to balance. Although, I must say that if if we should get everything into one, this is going to be difficult. It really has to be these two. There you go. That's how you build plastic. And that means the other one and the other one can be killed as well because there is no way that it's going to be comparable in any way. So we just go from one red belt outbound or three red belts outbound to just one of these making four full blue belts. And there it's not exactly full because there's like it's 44, but I, I'm just going to call it good enough. I think we just, if we want to be sort of super insistent, I think we could do stuff like that. And it would still be, I mean, it'd still work and it'll still be faster. And maybe, maybe this way would be just absolutely crisp. Uh, the one thing is that just the swinging of these will make it so that it's almost never full. In any case, that is time for us to take this out because that has certainly no place anymore. And this one as well. And now it's, it's super important that this one goes out. This one will then probably need two more. This one will also probably need two more. However, this one is super important not to waste. It's 31,000. I'm going to waste 31,000 for sure. So, for example, I'm going to do... I'm simply just putting it over on the side. With this one, with regards to this one, I can kind of do the same, can I? Yes. Yeah, again. There. So now it'll just move it from here to here and it'll be fine. And I also need to make sure that one. So I'm going to put... Do I really want to put it into the same? I'm the, I guess I will. I'll... I'll tr I don't know. I try. Looks about right. Stamp it down. Looks 
also about right. Oh yeah, it just starts going immediately. <laughs> well, there you go. And I'll now try to get it in here. So I'm going to get one. And the other ones will go in on this side. So there we go, eight lanes of plastic coming in here. That's a, that's a pretty sizable upgrade. And yeah, of course it's gonna use more, but we'll just deal with it. That's just how it goes. All right, so next one is going to be the wood part. Oh, anti-biter thingy. We don't have any tech left that we don't have, so I guess it's mainly electric drills. We can take those, but we're not gonna use them. Also, this one is also like an enabler tech, so we can take that. What about this one? Uh, 20,000. And I'd rather have faster cars. Who wouldn't want faster cars? Except, of course, if they're trucks, they might not be the best idea. And let's see, there was somewhere that I wanted to make some wood. Yes, can I make it? Mm. These two, I mean, this is not a great setup though. We are going to try to make some matter assembler. I think that's what we want to do. There we go. And you're gonna get, okay, that would also be too good. Didn't we have something? Oh yeah, we have this one, but that's relying on a lot of other crap. So let's not do that. Copy and I will just go like three. That's not three, three. So because we're gonna get most likely one, two. Yeah, and that's not good enough. That's gonna be here. It'll be very simple. We're gonna take this one in and this one. And then somehow get it over and hook it up. Perfect. Right, these are now at minimum. Perfect. They are there. Yeah, there. They are no longer at minimum, but they're actually damn close to minimum. So there, now they're still at minus 25. What about now? Minus 50, minus 75 and enough. Cool. That's going to be how we do it. I'm going to see if we can, oops, let's make sure that we have output, output. This one is now making 10 per second. Time to crafting speed 10 to 2 point. So this is making 22.5, this means, this one's making 22.5, this is making 22.5. Okay, well that's just it, right? This one is making a full belt of plastic. This is a full belt, of, this is insane. And I think we can do it in a better way. We can do it this way. There we go. I think that's gonna be better. And I will just take this one here. But it just, on the other hand, it just seems like a bit wasteful not to just go, just, just not go one more, right? I and mean, can I just go one more? Yeah. Yeah. So this is outbound and no, they're not great at outbound like this. Maybe that's actually irrelevant. Come up there and then you can go that one, yeah? So my idea here is we'll just have fewer or more of these and uh, not that one. Can these be moved? Can this be moved one up? 
If it can, then it it's brilliant. But you you're still targeting that one, so that's very perfect. Because then I can also do this, and these can go like one more out, like this. Now that's good, I guess. Connected, connected, connected. Almost. And we don't have the other ones. Maybe this is a better way to do it. Yeah, much better. All right. <clears throat> we got an upgrade. There. And we are going to take... Now that's actually not super helpful because we still need to bring it down here. So I think I'd actually like to have these on the outside anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That one. I'm going to take all of this out and then just figure out exactly where is a good place to have it. Probably middle. That's kind of middle. Fine. Got it. And nothing comes in except for this one. So just get this down here. It's going to be a requester. You're going to request some liquids and you're going to get 10 of those. Sure. Wait for the fuel. Perfectly timed or perfectly spaced. There. That should. These are not speed 22. These are not speed 22. Because this one isn't in there. 22. Yeah, okay. So now they're all 22.25. Cool. Get up. And that should give us all the wood supply we would ever need i hope very simple all right let's give it a shot and see if that works let's look at some of the other things we made this episode just to see if things are working uh what is there good all right plastic looking fine looking fine it's bumping up to sixteen thousand, so plastic is no longer a problem let's take a look at this one yeah look at that it's just constant supply finally it's even having like a nice fat stockpile here. So now it's actually sending out when it needs it, not sending out when it's available. That means we hopefully should be starting to stockpile here. Yeah, okay. Kind of a, it, well, it's still like that's 100 stacks. So it's not, uh, it's not nothing. And things are coming in. Plastic is coming great. Oh, is copper starting to retain some? Yep, yep. Copper is retaining some as well. Are you working again? You are working again. Although that's a bit weird that you are. But let's let's not sort of dive into that too deep. I'd really like to upgrade this, but it doesn't make sense to do upgrade because it's it's gonna be working fine. The speed is fine, so what's the point? Come on, ten of those are outbound, so let's see what they can do. What about our build up here? Ooh, that's a whole lot of nothing. Must maybe that something just came out. Oh, that one just came in and stole it all. Let's look at our science then. Oh, that's very noisy. Okay, we've got full stacks here. 1.2, 1.2, 1.7. Beautiful. We even have a tiny bit of storage here. And look at that. We got a little bump here. Let's see how much it pops up to. Boom. Oh, it's actually 200. That's very nice. All right. So it looks like we might be... Might be in a situation where we are actually... I'm not going to say... Oh, okay. That's nice. Ha! Well, there we go. We have solved plastic for a while. <laughs> nice. Right, okay. Um, I don't know how the power plant worked though, but I guess it just, it just looks like it's just working, right? <clears throat> if you see it, point to it. Simply, there it is. Okay, let's try this on for size. Just a single power hole. That's going to be dragging a lot of power, this little copper wire here. 
and I will maybe get myself one of these maybe a few let's try and see how this works if it's just like it's just a big blob that goes okay that's it's another machine that makes a little too much noise but it looks cool it, and it's purple so I mean that's that's a good start isn't it uh, so this looks like it's just constantly producing three gigawatts of power without a care in the world it's gonna last 100 seconds maybe but it doesn't scale down at all look at that boom three gigawatts of power okay so since we're, we are producing more okay solar panels are also coming online solar panels actually peak at 1.8 and our consumption is about three so actually even having this one is uh, it's a bit, it feels a bit weird and and the issue with this is that once you stamp it down, it's running. So can I support one of these bad boys every 100 seconds? Yeah, absolutely, no problem. However, do I want to? Yeah, yeah, I guess I do. Uh, main problem is this one, because you can see it just doesn't get enough. Oh, look at that. It's actually, oh, okay, never mind. I thought it was actually stockpiling, but it isn't. This one, okay, that's gonna be our main issue. And the, the main part where it's going is, it's actually only going into stuff that requires singularity and nothing that we have now requires singularity. That's a big thing that we just noticed. Nothing requires singularity, nothing. Like a whole lot of nothing, like nothing at all. Like you need to stop requesting singularity things then, uh, that one. Stop requesting it because no one wants it. Hmm? Yeah, I guess so. so. No one wants this. That's actually quite a bit we consumed. Is that really true? Yeah, I mean, there's no singularity here. There's nothing missing. So there's no infinite that goes, oh, okay, an infinite does go into singularity at some point. Robot speed number what? Eight, eight, and then it goes into singularity. Then it goes from 20,000 to 5,000. Uh, yeah, okay, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I feel like building it right now. I, I kind of rather want to see it stockpile, just so we are absolutely sure we don't need it anywhere. What do you guys think? Do we let it stockpile? And then just actually not be... I, I want to be in a position where this one isn't just dead all the time. The only way you can do that is if... This one will gradually fill up. And it will fill up. So this one fills up, so this stuff fills up, so that this one doesn't go in. And it's only the recycling that goes, and that one stops. Once that's stops it's gonna be good all right that's gonna be the next thing so what we did here we massive upgrade plastic massively upgraded iron and we massively upgraded our power with the new purple shiny cool pretty good pretty good i'd say so thank you very much for watching i'll see you guys in the next episode if you like the video hit the like button and let me know in the comment section if you want me to do some more or less something else it's also time for me to start looking at the next series so that's gonna be interesting as well no reveals yet, but I'm working on it. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care and stay effective.